Welcome to the Dragon's Lair. This is Todd, the Dragon Master. And today we're going to be doing an um, unboxing of the two boxes of Eagle Moss um, vehicles that I get. I guess you can call Starships vehicles. You do fly in them. Um, like I said, I wanted to do when I opened up my, um, my Geek Box from the UK, I wanted to talk about Eagle Moss. So um, you can, you'll be able to find their link down below. Um, so let's start off. This one is the um, Starships. They come packaged in a box from UPS. You open it up. First thing that's always on top is your invoice telling you which Starships you get. And it looks like they were probably out of the one because they shipped me um, issue 24 and 26. So they must have been out of issue 25, which I was actually wanting. And it was the... Um, it was the Prometheus from Voyager. And it comes bubble wrapped. It come well, not bubble wrapped, but it comes with bubble pillows. So the first ship we get is the Zindi insectoid um, warship from Enterprise. Both ships are from Enterprise. So they come in nice little, they come in nice boxes. Um, and they show you all the different um, TV shows and they do the movies so and they come packaged really well and this is the base that they sit on the deep, and they're flat black bases and but they tell you what the ship is so if you ever get confused the Zindi Insectoid Vessel 6537AK is the serial number. So, clear, clear cape, um, clip. And this is the Zindi Insectoid ship. They're really well detailed. They're cool. And they fit on their bases really well. And it's kind of cool that if anybody remembers the TV show Space Above and Beyond that was done in the 90s, it almost looks like a Chig ship. Chig fighter. And right now, since I'm lacking, lacking space, I put them back in their cases and put them in not really a storage area, but in a in a safe place behind all my subscription boxes. And you also get a magazine with it. This is issue 24, and the magazine talks about the ship itself on the show. It talks about different aspects of the show that it was from. Design features, how they do, how they came up with the concept that you saw on the show. And then it talks about the, the race that they belong to. And then they tell you what the next ship in the series is. See, I should have gotten um, the Prometheus from Voyager. They're real, really good magazines. Um, on your second um, shipment, you get a free binder that holds the first 15. And then you can order more binders if you want. That's what those are in the background that you can see up on the, by the window. Those are the two binders for the Batmobiles and the Star Trek Starships. Next is the 22nd century version, the inter from the TV show Enterprise version of the Tholians. And their boxes are uniquely shaped, so you can never put them in the wrong boxes when you're packing them up or the split or wanting to keep the boxes handy
There we go. That's the Tholian ship. If anybody remembers the episode that the Tholians were shown on, it was season four of the Mirror Universe um, Enterprise one, where Archer found the um, USS Defiant Constitution class, and the Tholians built the web around the um, NX-01, Imperial one. And they're really well detailed, if you can see. They look metallic with their um, energy nacelles, their engines. And then this is the, sh the magazine that talks about the Tholians. And it talks about the Tholian web. And then this one has actually a full-out diagram of telling you the detail of the ship. That I have to look back, but I don't know if they had one in the um, in the different designs, and then meeting them on the original um, starship on the original Star Trek show, and how they redesigned them for reimaging from um, Enterprise and cl original series. And then they, they do the same thing. They show you what the next um, ship will be. And that'll, um, issue 27 will be the, um, the Romulan Bird of Prey from the 22nd century from the Enterprise series. So let's see if they did a diagram of an insectoid warship. No, they did not. There is no view um, telling you, oh, there's kind of a data feed. They just show you the, the different sides. They don't go into detail of what everything is on here. Um, when, you, when you sign up on, for Eagle Moss, for the, the starships, um, your first shipment is only five bucks which is that's the shipping and handling and that's the um enterprise d um and then your second shipment you get the free notebook to put all your magazines in um and then after that you get um after different shipments you get for other free things you get the dedication plaque from the enterprise d on one shipment i think it was like shipment six then shipment 10 or 12, you get the Enterprise D refit from the final episode of All Good Things. And then uh, um, shipment 20, I think, or 25, you get the Borg ship. So that's it for the starships. Next, we have the Batmobile. They come in the same kind of packaging with the um with your invoice and they come with a bubble pillow too so they don't break up but the batmobiles come sealed so they can't pop open and break They come, the case comes taped to the bottom. I always take it off so I can actually open them up and show people the details. And this is from Batman Legends of the Dark Knight number 15. And there's that Batmobile. See? And the bases are detailed too to represent what the Batmobile is. Um, and then, like I said earlier, that they have backdrops. So it looks like a little um, diorama. Um, the first Batmobile 
in the shipment is 4.95 too, and that's cover the shipping, and that's from the '89 Batman uh, movie, Tim Burton's movie, and it actually comes with Batman standing outside of the Batmobile, like he did in the in the in the part of the movie where he was blowing up um, Axis chemicals. And then I'll show you the magazine for that one. That's issue 25. And in that, they actually do, everyone does come with a, um, a blueprint. See, it shows you what the Batmobile is, how they designed it, and the diagram. But they always show you what's in the Batmobile. All the interior and all the gadgets and everything. And they come with a notebook that you can put the stuff in too. And the next is issue 20, uh, this was 25 also. Issue 25 of the Batmobile. The next one is issue 26. This is from Detective Comics 219. And it's a 1905 Roadster with the bat wing and the bat face on it. Now I don't know the concept of why Batman was driving around this. I've never read 219. So I'll have to actually read through the magazine and why he had that. But that's cool that Batman actually owns an antique Batmobile. And here's the issue. And the next Batman, issue 27, will be Batman Legends of the Dark Knight 156. So we'll be getting two Dark Knight Legend. We'll have two, one right after each other, okay? And here's this. They show you the comic book that it's from, what the cover looks like, and how they got what they came up with, and then the blueprint, and what's in this Batmobile. If any Batman fans are out there, and know what, why Batman had this 1905 Roadster as a Batmobile, please leave me a comment on down below. And then they talk about Batman in the 50s. Each issue's got something different in the back talking about it. This Batman's talking about Batman in 91. So, um, that's it. If you want to subscribe, check out their website. I'll put a link down below of Eagle Moss. Um, they're a really cool company. And if you ever have trouble with them, email them. They respond quickly. Um, and the Batmobile free things, you get your first issue. You get your first um, free thing is the um, notebook. Your second, I think it's like issue six or so, you get the Batman Bat 1 license plate that's on the back of the 66 Batmobile. Um, the third one is the armor cocoon from um, Batman and Batman um, Returns. The fourth one is, I believe, the um, Batwing that I haven't gotten yet. They're out of stock. So when they said as soon as they get it in stock, they sh they'll ship it to me. Um, they're really cool. And they do have special editions for both. The Star Trek and Bat Batman. One of the special editions for the Batman was the Bat from the, um, Nolan's third part of his trilogy. And they have a couple of other um, special editions that I haven't picked up yet. Um, the Star Trek special editions are the Enterprise from the um, 2009 reboot, the USS Vengeance from the sequel, 
and uh, Deep Space Nine. Deep Space Nine was their first special. And it's a really detailed model. Uh, and it's big. The specials are bigger in size than most of the regular things, at least in the starships. The um, Enterprise from the re um, reboot is that much, is that bigger, where the regular Enterprise models are about yay big. Um, the Vengeance is even bigger. The Space Nine's pretty good size. Um, and then there's a Borg Cube that you get free, which is the last of the free things that you, you'll get. Um, and I, like I said, the Enterprise D is a free one, the Borg Cube. Um, and then go check out their website. They have all the detail and everything. Really cool company. Um, if I would have thought about doing blogs earlier, I would have started doing blogs of these ships each month that I get them. But I like them. Go check them out. Leave comments down below. Thank you for listening. And keep watching and come check out my next um, video unboxing. Thank you.